G'day legends, it's Jai, that Aussie metal guy here. Before we get stuck into another great interview brought to you by Crank.com and that metalstation.com. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and that way you can keep up to date with all the best music and interviews from all over the world. Yep. Hey, how you all going? It's Jai, that Aussie metal guy here with Crank.com and with that metalstation.com. So today, tonight, no matter where you are in the world, is with great pleasure that I'm getting to have a chat with Beyond Speed, Strid of Soil Worker, due to relieve their released their 12th studio album, Over Given Hetton, August 19th through Nuclear Blast. Bjorn, thank you very much for joining me for a chat, mate. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me. No, absolute pleasure, man. Like just about every other metalhead in the world, huge fan of soil work. So when I got the opportunity to have a listen to this and have a chat with you at the album, it was it was something I was really keen to get into. Um, the album is amazing, dude. First off, I want to ask about the songwriting process on this. I know it was probably a drawn out process, but it would have given you some time yeah. to, to, to make this album as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we were giving a lot of time uh, all of a sudden. And, and then uh, I guess it was, it was quite good for us. You know, I think uh, maybe we all need a little bit of a of perspective on things. And this is really the first time I've stopped in 20 years, you know, uh, and because and, uh, there's always something going on, even if there's a break, there's also always some kind of, you know, a tour or a festival. Hello again. <laughs> There we go. Oh, the joys of modern technology. It's great. Yes. It doesn't work anymore. Brilliant. That's me at work. Brilliant. Seriously slapping the computers like fucking work. Yeah. No, um, yeah. You, were, you were saying that it, um, it, it gave you some time. You hadn't been touring for the first time in a long time. You didn't have any tours. Yeah. And you were able yeah. to take that time. Ex exactly. And I think it gave us some perspective on things, you know, and, and, and sort of where you're at in your life and, and, and what you've done for the latest 20 years, you know, and, and uh, I don't know, it was, uh, I think it was really good for me. I took a break from, from, from you know, uh, from music for a while and then slowly approach songwriting again. And I think, uh, you know, also part of me that was sort of worried, like, am I going to be able to go back being that person again? You know, can I, can I, you know, am I going to lose it if I don't keep it up? But at the same time, I, I also enjoyed, you know, spending more time with the family and even, you know, to get, get to know myself a little bit better even because there's, you know, you're always the, the guy on the road. You're always the guy behind the microphone. You always, so just being, being Bjorn <laughs> for a while, you know, that, that definitely did some magic because when I started, you know, approaching, you know, the songwriting for this album, a lot of beautiful things started happening. A lot of emotions came through and, 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 and especially with the melodies, I think, you know, um, both, both uh, vocally and also, you know, with the guitars uh, and, and it ended up being some of the songs, you know, it was like, wow, uh, where did this come from? You know, and, and uh, I'm, I'm very proud of, of this album, you know, uh, it was me and David has written most of the material. Sven contributed with one song as well, but it's like, I'm, I'm really proud of what we accomplished. Uh, me and David has been in, in very different places, you know, uh, while recording the, this album, you know, he, uh, I don't think he enjoyed the break as much as I did, you know, and, and then, then, so he's been frustrated, but at the same time, he had a lot of inspiration. He's written a lot of music, uh, which has been quite dark and maybe I've been in a little bit better place, but we're really close, you know, uh, we're like brothers. So it's, it's, um, so there's been, it's been quite of an interesting exchange there musically as well, you know, but I, I would say that it, it's it's a quite dark album but it's super empowering and very uplifting as well you know so it was it was an interesting process and it was uh it, it was not easy you know it was it might have been easy to sort of write write some of the songs but getting it all together it was quite a task yeah um as you mentioned they're super dark but uplifting i was going to leave this till a little bit later but i want kind of yeah. encapsulates this with that track for me at the moment the the, the death i hear you calling that track yeah. is just amazing for me of the one today i know it's probably going to change for me tomorrow but that track can you tell me yeah. a little bit about that one well that's uh that's a uh... The song written by David and yeah. it almost has sort of like a rock like stump stomp in it. it's like blackened uh, uh 
I don't know, blackened rock, I was going to say, but it's, it's, it's quite special. It sticks out a little bit, um, but it's, uh, it's a really good track. I really love that. That's one of my favorites on, on, on the album for sure. And some, some really high vocals, both set of vocals on that one as well. Uh, so, I mean, if we're going to do that one live, it's going to be interesting, you know, but I'm, I'm, you know, I like to give myself some challenges for each and every album. Um, so I'm sure it's going to be good, but that, yeah, that, that's a, that's a good example of, of a song that definitely sticks out and something that's, that's, you know, really cool. Yeah. Can I ask about the title track over given Hatton? That's a really yeah. nice track to start the album with and a really cool film clip to go with it as well. Yeah. It was actually the very last song that I wrote the night before entering the last recording session. Uh, so it came together at the very last moment, which is quite interesting. And it, and it just uh, developed into this absolute beast with all these choirs and, and, and banjos and whatnot, you know, and, and it turned into this, this song that I didn't even know I had in me, you know, I was going to say, uh, but it's, it's, uh, I think one of the best songs I've, I've personally ever written and I'm very proud of it. And, and I couldn't believe that, you know, I mean, we always, as, as a band, tried to, 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 you know, find the track order and, and everybody felt so strongly about that song opening the album. And, and uh, yeah, wow. It's, uh, I think it, it is a perfect opener, you know, especially with the intro and everything and, and the video clips, like you mentioned, it's, uh, it's uh, it's a yeah. fantastic uh, video, I would say. It's the footage is fantastic. The storyline, everything, it be beautiful. It really, it really fits fits the song too. Yeah, and as you mentioned, that intro and the build up into the opening of that yeah. track, it just hits you hard. You couldn't think yeah. of any other track on that album to start with the opening. And you did mention the choir there. There was some really nice choir arrangements on this as well. I noticed um, David yeah. kind of composed that, didn't he, or um, organized yeah. that? Yeah. Tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, he arranged that. Uh, yeah. yeah we, so we went basically, I mean, he's, he's a doctor, and I think. Uh, um, his friend at the hospital is a nurse. He, she's singing in a choir. And then it's like, oh, I might have something, you know, somebody in, in mind that maybe she's, she's in a choir. Maybe we can record some choirs for, 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 for uh, as the intro for that song. It's like, wow, that sounds cool. Yeah. So we, we basically went to church and we <laughs> uh, recorded the, the, uh, the intro there. And that was quite powerful. I remember coming into the church and I'm seeing like, you know, Dr. Dave Anderson <laughs> sitting by the piano with the glasses on and arranging, you know, the, and writing down the, the, the notes and everything. And, and uh, so that, that was, that was really cool. It was really powerful. We should, we, we actually have some footage of that. We should post that at some point. Yeah, you so should. Can see. It's beautiful. It sounds really good on the album. And the, there's also these acoustic elements to, to the album that are just yeah. fit really well. And I love those moments, like when they do come into the album, it's almost like a moment of introspection. You know what I mean? At those points yeah. of the album, yeah. too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there, there's quite a bit of, of a violin in there and, and yeah. uh, it's, it's really cool when it comes in. And sometimes it's very unexpected, I guess, you know, there's these full blast going on and then suddenly it goes into something really dreamy and, 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 and organic. So it's, uh, sorry, it was just... I was wondering, that's my dog. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is, so totally what, is there fine. somebody walking in here? It's like, uh, I, uh, yeah. Speaking of I, I, animals, I've got cockatiels. They're quiet because it's night at the moment, but sometimes during the day, right. they go they go off as well. So when you're doing it, yeah, yeah, it's always doing. the animals. And that's the thing of the last couple of years. We've all found different ways of being able to connect and yep. still remain in touch with each other as a scene. You know what I mean? Like, and at the movies, those YouTube videos, I've got to mention that project. Oh, yeah a part of as well that was a really cool project too man and kind of something i suppose gave you something else to do during that time yeah absolutely that that was a, that was a fun time i mean yeah. that, that was another unexpected thing coming in it's like my friend chris laney he just called me up and you know, it's like oh i'm Jorn, I'm, I'm so bored we need to do something <laughs> like, okay what do you have in mind he's like oh, well i'm thinking we should do like hard rock versions of of 80s and 90s soundtracks like okay cool it's like it feels like it's been it's been done before but yeah why not that sounds like fun and then 
little did I know, I mean, so many people got into that. Yeah, they I. loved it. And then they were looking forward to it every Thursday, you know, with each release. And we had so much fun doing it, you know. And and um, and I think maybe it was, you know, exactly what people needed, yes. you know, there and then, you know, because people need to hold on to something that, that reminded them of, 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 you know, the past or something, you know, when when there wasn't you know it was sort of like a carefree time and then no troubles in sight and uh, i don't know it, it the timing was was great but i mean it's, there, was, there was not a master plan whatsoever no. I, i've heard people coming afterwards like oh what you did with that move is smart moves like smart business plan it's like what no, just... what are you talking about this so it was just really you know Something fun to go and connect way. with, you know, the yeah, fans yeah. and with yourselves as friends playing yeah. something, you know, fun and just enjoying it again. Yeah, it made people really happy. So that, 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 that felt good. Yeah, I don't want to chew up too much time, mate. I know you've been a bit flat out this morning with interviews, but I do want to ask about the upcoming tour here in Australia yeah. in November, man. I know a lot of fans are, are really keen about it. And as you guys must be excited too to finally get on the road and start playing some tours again after having some dinner absolutely. with family. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're looking forward to that tour. I think it's going to be maybe the eighth or ninth time we're coming to, to Australia. So that's uh, that's pretty crazy, actually. <laughs> uh, but always a good time. Uh, it's one of my favorite, you know, tours to do, you know. And, and uh, so, yeah, it's looking like November. So knock, knock, everything, you know, everything's look, looking good. And, and, and uh, yeah, and it's going to be a blast for sure. Uh, looking forward to seeing you down under in November. Everybody, the album Overgiven Hetton. I hope I didn't annihilate the enunciation. No, you're doing it really well. Awesome. I'm very impressed. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Comes out August 19th yeah. through Nuclear Blast. Do you have any last words, shout outs, or thank yous you'd like to add in? Well, thanks for following us through through the years and being so loyal. And and uh, I, I'm pretty positive you're going to really dig this album. So th thanks for picking up the album. Uh, and uh, see you on tour soon. Awesome. Cheers, mate. You have a